Hello my dear friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya and in today's video I wanted to share with you my favorite smoothie recipes. It's gonna be five recipes, of course I'm not going to film them all today, so don't mind if I change my outfits during this video. All these smoothies are very delicious and very healthy, so I hope you enjoy watching this video and the first smoothie is my least favorite one, but I made it delicious, is green smoothie. I know that many people just hate greens and hate green smoothies as well, but actually a green smoothie is a great way to sneak some of the greens into your daily routine, into your daily meals. And let's get to the kitchen and see how I make green smoothies tasty. So for this smoothie you can use any greens that you want to incorporate in your daily routine. I usually add spinach and kale because they don't have the taste of a grass. I usually add just one or two handful of greens. Also I want to add one kiwi. It will give our smoothie this nice sour and sweet taste. I would also like to add celery because I hate eating it but it's really really healthy. I just forgot to buy it, but keep in mind, I usually add the celery in my smoothie. I will also add one scoop of this greens mix. It doesn't taste great, but if it's inside the smoothie, you don't really feel it. The most important ingredient for a green smoothie is a banana. It will help you to get rid of all this grass taste and it will make your smoothie more creamy and sweet. And I would also add a little bit of water to make it more watery you know, but if you like more creamy and thick smoothie, you can skip this step. Look at this texture. Mm. Mm. It is actually really delicious and all I can feel here is kiwi and banana. I think I don't really need to use a straw because it's super tasty. Mm. The next smoothie is a protein smoothie. And this is not a regular protein shake where you just mix protein powder and water or milk. This is a super tasty drink. For this smoothie, we will need one banana, a cup of milk. I'm going to use my favorite Oatly oat milk, but you can use just the regular milk or any other non-dairy one. I will also add some frozen strawberry. By the way, you can add the frozen banana instead of the regular one and this way you can create a thicker texture for your smoothie and it will be already not just a smoothie drink but a smoothie bowl. And of course the main ingredient is the protein powder. I'm using this one with a chocolate flavor. I'm gonna put just one scoop of this. It's about 20 grams of protein and if you want your smoothie to be more like chocolate flavor you can add also raw cocoa or maybe some grated chocolate sometimes i do this but today i want just banana and strawberry flavor but chocolate one is really delicious too So it turned out really thick, maybe because I didn't add a lot of oat milk and banana wasn't so ripe as usually, so I'm eating this with a spoon, but it's good. The next smoothie, the recipe number three, is creamy smoothie. I call it creamy just because it has creamy texture and creamy flavor. And for this smoothie we will need half of a banana or you can add just the whole banana if you want more like banana flavor, if you want to make the smoothie sweeter. I am also gonna add a half of avocado and this is like the key ingredient in the creamy smoothie because it gives it this creamy texture. I'm gonna 
also add a little bit of oat milk and again if you want your smoothie be thicker to create for example a smoothie bowl you can add less or even don't add oat milk also for creamy smoothie you can use cashew milk and coconut milk because they are creamy as well and I also add a little bit of half and half you can add just a little bit of cream maybe just one tablespoon or even a half of tablespoon to give the smoothie this milky taste then I add one tablespoon of peanut butter and a little bit of collagen I'm using the vital proteins collagen this is my favorite one this one actually doesn't have any taste but it also adds up to the creaminess of the smoothie and vital proteins they have smoothies with different tastes like chocolate mocha etc so you can even upgrade the taste of your smoothie with this collagen Mmm, wow, it is really creamy. <laughs> Just look at this texture. Mmm, really nice. Mm. It is almost not sweet. It has this nutty, creamy flavor. Mm. That's really great. It feels like I'm eating an ice cream, but it is warm. Mmm. <laughs> If you want it to be sweeter, just add more banana. The next smoothie recipe that I'm gonna share with you is super food smoothie. I call it like this because this smoothie contains a lot of foods that has lots of vitamins and most importantly antioxidants that help your body to beat free radicals. So this smoothie is really good for your health. And I tried to add different products that contains vitamin C, omega-3. So the liquid base of this smoothie can be anything. You can just use water. I'm gonna use oat milk because this is just my favorite kind of milk. But if you want it to be a dairy one it's totally fine then I will add just half of a banana for a beautiful texture I'm gonna also add uh, some frozen berries because berries contain a lot of antioxidants and you should eat at least handful of berries every day then I'm gonna add this frozen acai it has a lot of vitamins as well and it's really delicious at first I was a bit skeptic about this but it gives the smoothie nice texture and like a sweeter berry taste and to make smoothie a bit thicker I will add a little bit of chia seeds and grounded flax seeds and I really love how these uh, seeds feel when you're drinking this smoothie you see this this is amazing i decided to make it more like a smoothie bowl than a smoothie drink but if you want it to be a drink you can just add more water as usual mm. it is still cold and tastes like just berry sorbet mm. Mm. I really love it. It's perfect for summertime. And the last recipe for this video, the recipe number five, is fruity smoothie. Drinking a smoothie made of fruits and berries is the best way to sneak in some fruits, some vitamins into your daily routine, especially if you forgot to eat fruits during the day or you didn't eat enough fiber, enough vitamins, and you ate just a junk food all day. And the key to a great delicious fruity smoothie is to use different kind of fruits that have different kind of flavors for example for this smoothie I'm going to use one kiwi that will give our smoothie a sour taste half of this big 
beer. It will give our smoothie sweeter taste. Half of a small banana just to give the smoothie nice creamy texture. And for the liquid base I'm going to add the orange fresh juice. But you can add just water if you want. It's totally fine as well. But orange is a great source of vitamin C, so I'm gonna add it. And I would also like to add some uh, fresh mango, because I really love mango's taste. But I don't have it right now, so I will just add this frozen mix of berries with mango and it will make my smoothie colder which i also really like but if you want a warmer smoothie you can just add the fresh mango and just do not add the frozen products Okay, let's try it. Mmm, I would call this not just fruity smoothie, but tropical fruits smoothie. <laughs> Something like this. Mmm, it's a little bit sweet and at the same time a little bit sour. Mmm. And really tasty so this is it for this video I hope you liked my recipes and if you try one please share your opinion in the comment section below thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video